my prediction is Chaz Green at the end of the day will pull this out, but you got to have depth here. We we haven't been able to count on Chaz Green his uh, his injury history. I don't want this to be a guy who who was showing flashes in camp and then comes up limp. You know, oh, you know, I I did this, I tweaked this, so. He's gonna be. He's gonna miss a week or two of camp. I don't want to see that from Chaz Green. All right, I, I do not want to see that. Don't start that crap here, okay? If he gives us that thing, he's gonna be one of those kinds of guys, all right? One of those guys that can't stay healthy. So keep an eye on that storyline, Chaz Green. Hey, what's up, everybody? That clip right there was um, a video I did a couple of videos back here uh, prior to training camp starting. There were my five ball predictions. I'll have a link in here to that video. But uh, as you can tell, this is not really a, um, a prediction I was wanting to come to fruition. I did want Chaz Green to win the left guard position. But like I said, you know, you can't trust his health. And is he going to be one of those types of guys? The answer is yes. So this is serious. Cap Mo time because he is one of these kinds of guys, man. It's, this is official, right? Jason Garrett did come out in the news conference earlier today and say that this is more of a shorter term uh, recovery, not a long term. But uh, with Chaz Green, he's been a long term injury kind of guy, right? Here we are in the, his third season. More injuries. Shoulder this time. He's had everything, man. Hip, knee, foot, ankle, shoulder now. There's just no faith in the player, man. Um, I'm sure he wants to be out there. Um, the, and these injuries are legitimate. You know, these are real injuries that he's sustaining. But he he, um, he just doesn't have the, uh, you know, he, his body just can't take on the, uh, the grinds of the NFL. And even at the college level, he was the same, same deal. You know, he's brought those college injuries into the pros and they continue to haunt him derailing his career at the end of the day this is going to derail him right it is what it is we're being honest about this guy here we've had we've seen these kinds of guys here with the cowboys so i know some people want him to be cut i think the cowboys will give him this this last year here to to see if they can salvage something out of him but uh we've seen them be patient with jacob rogers uh, during the parcells era we've seen them be patient with uh you know, Matt Johnson, the safety, the hamstring issues every year. That guy, he had hamstrings. He needed a hamstring transplant. They kept him here for a few seasons, hoping he would do something. Never did anything. They eventually, you know, moved on from him. Mo Claiborne, injury prone. He is what he is. Uh, out of all these other players, though, we did get something out of him. Um, but he did miss a lot of time. And he was one of those kinds of guys. You know, what, what's, what's going to be next for this guy? Is it an elbow? Is it a um, AC joint? Is it a shoulder? What is it with this guy? So we've seen these kinds of players with the Cowboys. The Cowboys have shown patience with these guys. So I don't see the Cowboys cutting Chaz Green as much as some of us would like at this point. Um, you know, they're going to let him grind through it and see what he does. But at this point, don't be surprised if he gets re-injured and then on IR again. Uh, that's kind of been his MO, right? He starts out with the injury here never fully recovers and then boom here we are ir it's the same same story with this guy right so now what do we do left guard it's gonna be uh jonathan cooper time right he has the pedigree um he's been in the program here now for a while now so he knows what he needs to do um i'm counting on this guy hopefully he, he recovers but i think this is a storyline that, that we're gonna be battling with the whole season right it just is unless the cowboys make some sort of trade for a player to lock down that position this very well could be a storyline that's going to follow us for the whole season um I look for the cowboys to to uh throw a draft pick a, a draft pick at the position uh lyle collins still still getting through the right tackle there i think he'll, at the end of the day he'll be fine but the left guard that's the biggest question mark and for me right now, it's the biggest question mark on the entire team. I'm kind of concerned about it, to be honest. But we do have players here that will compete. You know, we still have Byron Bell. 
They could do, they could still do some shuffling. They could kick they could kick Collins back in here to left guard and put uh, somebody there at right tackle. Um, Byron Bell, perhaps Dan Cooper, if he comes on. But th these are raw players. They're not as athletic as as you want. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. The other thing that we want to talk about here is the scrimmage. We'll we'll talk about this briefly. We're going to talk more in depth um, on the Cowboys huddle. So I'll just touch on it here. But the defense, they're doing things right. They're making plays. Byron Jones, he's doing what I want him to do. We we want him to take that next level, become a leader, take the next level, earn that fifth year option. If he you know does really good this season they will give him that fifth year option, you know? So um, that's what he's working for this season, right? So uh, year three for first round picks, that's when these guys really need to ball out to get the fifth year option the following year. So Byron Jones, he's in a big, big year here. He's making plays. Cheeto Wuzier, this guy is gonna be something for us. I'm really excited about the defense. And what can you say about Jalen Smith? Showing explosiveness that we saw at Notre Dame. Sideline to sideline, closing in, going through the through the wash and seeking and striking. This is what uh, Jalen Smith did so well at Notre Dame. Getting through the trash, getting through the traffic, making the hit, making the stop, uh, getting to the quarterback, getting to the running back, minimal yardage. Him and Sean Lee out in the field at the same time. This could be one hell of a duo. But the progression will keep going. I'm not saying that they're going to start him here, but you got to like what you're seeing from him. I still think that Anthony Hitchens, you know, uh, probably gets the start here. And they'll continue to work in Jalen Smith. But all indications, this is very good. This is, this is the kind of progression that you want to see from him. I feel good about it. I feel really good about Jalen Smith, man. And this whole defense as a whole. Uh, Xavier Woods, all the rookies that we got in here. Uh, Marquez White, the veterans on defense. I like that. Lewis Neal, the undrafted guy out of LSU. He's gonna make a run at this roster. Somebody, he might, he might push somebody off this roster. Keep an eye on Lewis Neal. I want to see how he does in the preseason, right? But um, those are the main topics for right now, guys. And uh, I just really appreciate every one of you. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all you guys in the comments. Um, you know, I try to answer all you guys uh, when I can. So I really appreciate all that. And um, this has been a, a good journey. We're doing this um, training camp together. Lots of good news coming from these guys, right? So um, let's keep it going. And we'll be back here tomorrow for the next video. Thanks, guys.